Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So today we are going to discuss what is custom method in Spring JPA and how we can create our own custom methods in Spring JPA. So you might be aware uh, some of the already provided method of the Spring JPA like find all, save, find by ID, delete by ID. So those methods are already provided by the Spring JPA. Okay, on top of that, how you can create your own custom methods using the Spring JPA. Okay, so let's get started for that. <coughs> so I already have created one Spring Boot CRUD project. Okay, and let me show you the controller. So we have the find all, like we have uh, these two get mappings, one post mapping, one put and delete. So this is the CRUD project. Okay. And uh, let me try to uh, show you the hierarchy. So we have created one product, okay. And uh, here is our repository, which is extending the JPA repository, okay. And coming to the service, we have created these four methods, which is directly using the JPA provided methods like find all, okay, find by ID, save and delete by ID. So these are the JPA provided method. That is why by auto wiring this uh, product repository, we are directly calling this methods. Okay. So now I'm going to create our own custom methods in Spring Data JPA. So let's get started for that. Okay. So first of all, let me try to. So first of all, let me try to uh, run this application and show you how our APIs are working. Okay. If you don't know how to create a Spring Boot CRUD project, then there is a video on my channel. You can watch it out. I will provide the video link in the description. Okay. So let me run this application and then try to hit some endpoints to show you how it is working. Okay. So I have provided this configuration also. Uh, if you have missed, uh, this is the application properties file where you need to provide your username password of the database. I'm using the MySQL as a database and this is the port number on which our application will be up. Okay. And these are the configuration for the database. Okay. This is the URL. This is the username and password. And these are some other configuration. Okay. So our application is up now and it is up on the port number 9000. Now let me open the postman here. And from there I will try to hit the endpoints. So let me go to the product controller. I already have inserted couple of uh, records there into the, in the database. Okay. So first of all, let me try to uh, hit the find all API. So the class level mapping is product API products. So let me try to go there. Our application is up on the port number 9000 and then API products and then get just send it so you can see we have couple of uh, products here so mobile laptop tablet and charger are there okay so the find all api is working fine now let me try to uh, get the product by id so let me try to uh, hit this api so which is find by id so we are able to find the product with the id one you can see we here we are passing the id okay now let me try to insert couple of other records here so we are providing the name price and quantity id is auto generated so let me try to insert one another record okay so uh, let me try to reduce this so let me try to post something okay so let me go to the So let me try to hit the post API now. So let me go to the body and name price and quantity name price is there. Let me try to cut it from here. Quantity. And let's say quantity is one. And let's say the product name is bulb. Okay. And the price of the bulb is 20 rupees and then quantity is one. Now let me try to send it. 
okay so let me try to see what is the api for the post so for post we have nothing here and the class level mapping is api products okay so our api will be api product method would be post and this is the body or payload you can say okay so we have inserted this now let me try to uh, hit the get api which is find all so let me try to hit it so you can see we have inserted this record in our database so all the apis are working fine you can also test out the product uh, sorry update and the delete i will provide the link of the github of this uh, project in the description of this video okay so let me try to uh, now let me try to go to the intellij and then try to show you how you can create your own custom methods okay so let me if you already aware how to create a crud project then you can uh, skip till this part uh, from there from here you can try to learn how you can create your own custom jpa provided method so we are going to create our own custom method in the product repository interface okay so let's say i'm going to create a method which is finding the product by its name which is not provided by the jpa itself okay so i already showed you what all the methods that jpa provide okay so this method is not provided by the jpa but there is a certain instructions or certain suggestion by the jpa using that we can create our own custom method so let's say i'm going to create a method which is finding the product by its name so how you can create it so let's say the return type of that method is product okay so it is returning the product and get product by name okay so let's say get product by name <clears throat> so you can see the jp has given some suggestion which is get product by and then uh, you can get the product by its name similarly you can create the methods like get product by price quantity something like that you can also try and here let me try to pass the uh, product name as a string okay which is a string in our case so let's say name okay so we are good now so we have created this custom method which is uh, finding out the product by its name similarly you can also create the other methods let's say create a method called uh, which is returning the product and we are getting the product by uh, let's say product by its price okay and we are passing the price here so you can create it this is how you can create it okay now <clears throat> let me try to go to the service product service and then try to call this method inside the service and then from the service we'll try to uh, call that method in the product controller so let me try to create one method here uh, the return type the method is of public type and return type is product so public return type is product and uh, let's say uh, get product by by name okay and uh, we are passing the name and then we are calling the method inside we are calling the jpa method inside this service method okay so let's say the argument is string name okay and with the help of uh, the product repository we'll try to call our method our custom method which is get product by id and we'll pass this name parameter here okay and then simply return this so we have created our service method now let me try to go to the controller and create one mapping for it so let me try to copy this get mapping first and then create one get mapping where we are finding the product by name so let's say i'm providing the url here name and then we are passing the name as a argument and here we are passing the name as a path variable okay and uh, let me call the service method which is uh, get product by name and then we'll pass the name as an argument here and then uh, okay let me try to change it return type should be product not optional product so we are good now <clears throat> so what we did we created our jpa method inside the product repository and then 
inside the product service we are calling that method and creating one product service method okay and then coming to the controller we are creating one api and then calling the service method inside it so we are good now now let me try to run this application and then see how it is behaving so the mapping is uh, api products which is the class level mapping and to hit this uh, get mapping api we need to uh, provide the name and then we have to pass the argument as a name okay okay so it is uh, so you can see our application is up on the port number 9000 now let me try to hit this endpoint let me try to go to the postman and uh, let's say this is the, our mapping api product which is a class level and to get the product by name we have this mapping name and then provide the name of the product and then simply hit it so just send it so you can see we are able to fetch out the record from the database based upon the name of the product so let me try to hit some other product so let's say i'm going to find the bulb and just send it so you can see we are able to find the bulb also so we are able to fetch out the record from the database based upon the product name which is a custom pro a created method of the jpa so this is how it is working let me try to show you something else also so go to the intellij go to the product repository and there is a in ways by which you can create your own custom methods you can combine two or three or four any number of parameters to create your own create your own custom method so let's say i'm going to create a method which is finding out the product based upon the price and the id based upon the price and the name so you can also create that so let's say the return type of uh, the method is product okay and we are getting product by uh, get product by let's say id and name okay so you can also uh, and the pass the pass the id and the name as a argument so you can see jpa is uh, or the spring or you can say intellij is suggesting the way how you can create your own custom method so product let's say return type is product and get product by okay and then it will also suggest you either you can uh, get the product by let's say price so you can see there is a n number of ways you can create your methods get product by price or get product by price after before is containing between likewise equals greater than so there is a n number of ways you can create your own custom finder method using the jpa so you can explore this and then create your own custom method in the coming videos i will tell you how you can create the jpql query methods or native query method how you can run that jpql or native query uh, creating your own custom method in the jpa okay so this is about this video guys if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content thanks